Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on mm -hmm. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless, we bless you, you, we, we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you, we, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your, your great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed, all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, was a man commanded to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan, and for knowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life, you will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne. He foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of these, we are all witnesses, exalted, at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that you received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God. For in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. Please stand. Hallelujah. This is 
the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached and embraced his feet and did homage to him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed, and this story has circulated among the Jews even to this present day. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. We praise and thank God today for gathering us on this second day in our octave of the Easter celebration, Easter journey. Sabi ho nila, kung may gusto kang maipakalat agad na, iba, na balita, no? ipagawa mo ito sa mga babae. Sabi nila, kapag may gusto kang ipadissimate na information, since ang mga women are naturally no talkative no yung sinasabing marites no talaga namang ito ay mabilis nakakalat na parang apoy whether it be good news or bad news in our history of salvation no it was these two women no actually Mary Magdalene is perhaps the apostle to the Apostle. Siya ang tagadala ng mabuting balita sa mga nagdala ng mabuting balita sa atin. Mabuting balita na ang Panginoong Diyos ay muling nabuhay. No? And it was so effective to the point that the Apostles themselves wanted to confirm whether or not it was true. And lo and behold, totoo nga na siya ay nabuhay na maguli. However, no, sa pagpapalaganap ng isang information, no, totoo siguro ang kasabihan, people will believe what they want to believe. What does it mean? No? Kahit anong pangungumbinsi mo, no matter how hard you convince no, or you tell the good news, they will only accept those things that they are ready to accept. Kaya anong nangyari? The guards made also their testimony as what we have read in the gospel and they reported to the elders. At etong mga elders naman, no, narinig nila kung anong nangyari, binaliktad nila ang kwento. Sabihin mo ninyo na ninakaw ng mga kanyang tagasunod ang kanyang katawan. Kaya nawala. You see, Mary Magdalene was rejoicing yet fearful. No? 
But the soldiers were fearful but confused. No? May holy fear yung isa. Si Mary Magdalene, holy fear, rejoicing, no? fearful yet rejoicing. But etong mga disipulo, ay etong mga soldiers, no? they were fearful yet very confused. At yung confusion na yun, imbis na good news, no? since it was not favorable to them, they changed it into fake news. 2,000 years ago, na, na, nangyari na ito. And exactly in the narrative of our salvation, in the narrative of the resurrection of Jesus, may nagpa-laganap din ng fake news. Walang iba kundi ang mga elders, ang mga chief priests, dahil ayaw nilang tanggapin yung nakabalita. How can we make this relevant no? for our reflection? No? Alam naman ho natin ngayon na very prevalent ang fake news. Alam naman na natin ngayon na very relevant yung disinformation na nang yayari. On our part, how can we gauge kung totoo ba yan o hindi? How can we gauge whether or not it is coming from God or coming from the enemy? You will know them by their fruit. Malalaman nyo sa kanilang bunga. Malalaman nyo sa kanilang resulta. How? Only time can tell. How? You check whether or not papano ba may, nag may nagbibigay saksi no? dito sa mga pawang impormasyon na binibigay sa atin. One has to bear witness to the truth. One has to see it, experience it. Dahil madali lang kong magpakalat ng misinformation. Madali lang kong magpakalap ng disinformation at mga fake news. Ito ang narinig natin sa ating Ibanghelyo na nangyari 2,000 years ago at perhaps ngayon nangyayari pa rin. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for our reflection today, for our second day of journey during this octave of Easter, sana pagnilayan natin how we receive information. Sana pagnilayan natin anong klaseng impormasyon ang ating tinatanggap. At sana malaman din natin kung anong pamantayan ang ginagamit natin para malaman kung good news ba ito o hindi. Kung fake news ba ito or simpleng paraan lamang para tayo ay malito kung ano ang katotohanan. Amen. Please stand. Let us present our needs to God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory. In every prayer we say, Victorious God, bless us. Victorious God, bless us. That the church may be renewed in the risen Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us, that government officials may not fear to live by the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us, that the peace of our risen Lord may dwell in our hearts and in our homes and spread throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us that we as a community may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet each day. 
let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless, bless us. us. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. That the faithful departed, having died with Christ, may share in His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Victorious God, bless us. God our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and our hearts and bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our deaths, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.